What's up, y'all? Logan Parker, Heirloom Builders. Welcome back. Today we're back at the homestead and we're gonna be talking about the three main reasons why you need pigs on a new homestead. So here we go. Main number one reason to get pigs on a new homestead is because you're gonna have a whole lot of clearing and disturbance to do before you can start your gardens, create the fence lines that you need, and get your land ready for your setup. Um, anytime you buy um, some farmland, it's probably gonna have some kind of infrastructure on it, um, but it's not gonna be the infrastructure that you really need for your setup. So today what we're gonna be talking about the three main reasons why you need pigs. And the number one reason is for disturbance. Pigs are excellent land clearers. What we're gonna do with these pigs right behind me is clear this old overgrown fence line all the way down so that we can have a permanent electric boundary fence and not have a whole bunch of vines and weeds growing up that are going to jeopardize that fence line. Um, so what pigs do, what pigs are really good at is digging up all of these vines back here. You can see all of this honeysuckle that they've already started to dig up with their nose as they root in the ground for grubs and worms and stuff like that. Here behind me is the section that they were just in you can see actually right here they've taken a lot of this root mass and they even made a nest that they sleep in and so they almost pick up this stuff and pile it up for you it's really amazing how how well pigs are able to pull physically pulling you won't want to have to have to sift through the grass to pull out all these vines out of the dirt. The pigs do that for us um, for free. So, and it's food for them. So we feed them less than we would normally have to in a confinement type of situation, like a feedlot kind of situation. Um, and and they get all the food that they need, or most they get most of the food that they need by eradicating the stuff that we don't even want. So we're using pigs as a tool to clear the land and it gives them the, a lot of the food that they need at the same time. Uh, so we're able to save money and save a whole lot of labor by having pigs help us root up a lot of these vines that are about to grow up on, that are growing up on this fence line. Um, the second thing they do really well when they're digging, using their nose and they pick up all of these rocks. So if you're starting a garden bed, you don't want a whole bunch of rocks in there. Pigs use their nose to dig up the dirt, dig up the grass clods and the roots, and they're finding rocks in there all the time. And a lot of times they put them in piles. So all you gotta do is go gather them and put them where you want them. Um, we used pigs back here when we started our um, <clears throat> 100 foot by 100 foot garden plots over here. They cleared the land, they got all the grass roots out of there, and then the second thing that they do that we want to talk about is they add an insane amount of fertility. So these pigs pee and poop on the land that they dig up and disturb, adding fertility back in at the same time. Um, so your garden is almost ready to go. <clears throat> what I will say um, is when you have pigs um, in the garden, you really need to make sure that you're not eating root vegetables like carrots and stuff straight out of your garden beds without washing it first because pigs do carry worms and other parasites um, that you can get as humans. So you got to be pretty careful about that. But they do add an insane amount of fertility that we definitely want to take advantage of. Um, so the first thing was disturbance. The second thing was adding fertility. And the third thing that these guys are really good at at the same time is protecting your farm. Deer smell pigs and they want nothing to do with that they stay clear these guys are pretty fierce they can be so you want to make sure that you got a really good fence we use this two foot tall two and a half foot tall pig fence it's a five strand electric portable net that we string around the area that we want to keep them in and have them focus on disturbing um 
and we can move it. And we move this fence every few days. We hammer them in on us, little small spots that they disturb all of the area. And, and then we're able to just move the fence down to the next area. We keep them kind of confined in a small space so they focus on the area that we wanted to hit hard and then we move them. We keep moving them every few days. And as soon as you know it, all we gotta do in this area, let me show you right here. Like you can see, this old fence line has got bar several layers of barbed wire woven wire fence right here um and before the pigs came in here it was completely overgrown and just really a nightmare to get in here you couldn't even get in here with a chainsaw and um you had to kind of just pick at it to get the overgrowth off of the fence so that you could even pull any of this wire out so what we're doing is bringing pigs in here to clear out around all of that old fencing so that we can get in there a whole lot easier, pull the old wire out of there, and then come back with our permanent boundary electric fence to redo our setup. Um, <clears throat> here, this looks like, this kind of looks like a, a human turd right here on the ground, but that's a pig poop, and you can see it is full of roots. And we just got a whole lot of life that these pigs are bringing in here. And they are really amazing at what they do. Um, so coyotes too, they don't want really anything to do with these pigs either. So pigs are protecting our perimeter at the same time as they're clearing our perimeter, which just works out so beautifully. Um, we've got guardian animals that are doing the clearing and land disturbing and they're adding fertility. So those are the three big reasons why you want pigs on a new homestead. Um, I hope you got something out of this video. If so, make sure to subscribe to our channel because we're gonna be coming at you with more of this kind of information on how to start and build a sustainable homestead every week. So stay tuned for more. Um, as always, y'all, thanks for watching. Until the next one, peace out.